Our gas stoichiometry is a combination of a stoichiometry problem that solves for the number of moles of, or the volume of gas, and then we use it um, in a gas law problem. And we know that the molar volume of any gas, doesn't matter what the gas is, one mole of any gas has a volume of 22.4 liters. The gas is important, but the conditions at which we measure are. We found this relationship of any gas having a volume of 22.4 liters while using the ideal gas law of Herbner under these conditions, and the conditions are very important. The temperature must be 273, and the pressure must be 1 atm. Plugging those values into the ideal gas law, one mole using the gas law constant at 273 and 1 atm always has a volume of 22.4 liters. Let's try our first problem. A sample of nitrogen gas has a volume of 1.75 at STP. How many moles of N2 are present? Well, it doesn't seem like a lot of information, but indeed it actually is. You have the pressure, that's 1 atm. You're given the volume, here is 1.75 liters. You are solving for N. You already know what R is. 0.821 latma moka. Latma moka. Why am I saying latma moka like it's a Starbucks drink? So you remember that these are the units you must use in your problem in order to use this gas law constant. And T is 273K. Solving quickly for Perfner, we can find the number of moles. equal to this answer, 7.81 times 10 to the negative second moles. All right, uh, quick line, CaO, is produced by the thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate. Calculate the volume of CO2 at SPP produced from the decomposition of 150 grams of calcium carbonate. They tell us that this reaction is being run at STP, so we are allowed to use a stoichiometry, just a simple stoichiometry problem that solves this um, uh, question of how much CO2 is formed. We would like to know the liters of CO2 equal to 152 grams of calcium carbonate decomposing. The molar mass of calcium carbonate is 100 grams. Uh, and then going to do the stoichiometry step. Uh, I will put one mole of calcium carbonate on the bottom and one mole of CO2 on top. And then I complete my problem by using one mole of CO2 an STP has a volume of 22.4 liters, so therefore our gas has a volume of 34.1 uh, liters. Okay, this is kind of a um, difficult problem. Um, methane gas a is mixed with oxygen gas and then with ignited to form CO2 and water. So methane plus O2 reacts in a combustion reaction to produce these products. And when I balance the equation, it looks like this. Okay, this is not at STP. So I cannot use these uh, volumes. I have to, in order to solve this, find the number of moles of my reactants, figure out which one limits, and then um, solve this problem. So um, the number of moles of CH4 is equal to um, its pressure, I'm sorry, its volume times its pressure 
times the gas law constant times the temperature in Kelvin. And so I figure out that I have 0.189 moles of CH4. And the number of moles of O2 its volume is 35, its pressure is 1.25, gas law constant remains the same, and the temperature this time is um, 0.75 moles of oxygen. Okay, we want to know the volume of CO2, so I may as well find the moles of CO2, and I will use it to figure out which one of these is the limiting reactant. So I would like to know the number of moles of CO2 equal to 0.189 moles of CH4. One mole of CH4 is equal to one mole of CO2, so I can produce 0.189 moles of CO2 from this reaction. The number of moles of CO2 equal to 1.75 moles of oxygen, uh, two moles of oxygen, reacts with one mole, will produce one mole of CO2, and that is 0.875 moles of CO2. So the CH4 is the limiting reactant, and that's the number of moles of um, CO2 that I will um, be able to create. So now, to figure out the volume of the CO2, I'm going to use Perfnerd again. Um, they tell us the pressure is 2.5, the volume is I don't know, the number of moles is 0.189 times the gas law constant, and this temperature is at 398. And that will yield 2.5. 47 um, liters of CO2. This is my favorite chemistry equation because I'm a giant fan of cats. This is a cat. This is a derived equation. You can derive it anytime you want, but you can memorize this. I don't know if you have a cat, but when you place your cat into his litter box, your cat does its business and then digs to China. Why? I don't know. They do that so to hide their scent so other cats don't bite. Not a really problem in the um, suburban house, but I guess it's a problem out in the wild. So he, what does that have to do with anything? Here is you remembering this equation. Meow, meow, that's your name for your cat throws dirt over his pee. Meow meow, molar mass is equal to dirt, density times the gas law constant times the temperature over pressure. You're welcome. The density of a gas was measured at 1.50 atm in 27 degrees C, and the density was found to be 1.95 grams per liter. Calculate the molar mass of this gas. Okay, the molar mass is equal to density. Density has to be in grams per liter because you are using the gas law constant. Here it is right here. Remember the gas law constant is a Latin So that's the liter. Mole. Um, temperature 27 degrees C is the same as 300 degrees Kelvin, and the um, 
pressure is 1.5 to 18. That means that this gas has a molar mass of 32 grams per mole. My guess is it is O2. Okay, uh, Dalton's law of partial pressure. 